I have turned into a muncher. I will. I will eat this whole bag. Mm hmm. And I have cookie dough bites in the fridge. <laughs> what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to go over week 28 of pregnancy. This week was pretty, pretty darn good. I'm going to go over some mental challenges that I have faced and come to realization with with what I have been creating in my life and throughout this pregnancy and also just what 28 weeks of pregnancy has brought me. If you want to see what week 28 was all about, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, so week 28 of pregnancy, week 28. I have been realizing that the more I film and the more I get in conversation and things like that, it is a little bit harder for me to breathe. I'm just having to take more of a deep breath more often, which is fine, but I'm just realizing that like it's just a little bit tougher to breathe right now. Um, also this week, my back has just been hurting. My lower back area, that's just the loveliness of pregnancy. I'm still working out, trying to just slightly keep that core strong and that back strong as possible. Um, when it does come to pregnancy and working at your core, there is only a, you know, there's a good amount of movements that you can do, but not necessarily the same ones you were doing before. And so I'm just paying close, close attention to what my body is telling me and things like that. Um, today, I actually realized while I was working out, every day is seriously different. Um, today was leg day for me. Um, I was always start off with about 20 minutes of cardio. I know some people say do cardio after, but who really cares? So I was doing, supposed to do 20 minutes of cardio, but I seriously, I don't know if it's just the elliptical and the jumble jumble going on here, but I had, feel like I had to pee every five seconds. So I did about 15 minutes, held my pee, don't suggest it, but my mind was like, I gotta get to 15 minutes at least. So I got to 15 minutes, cause I went pee before. But um, yeah, it comes a lot. But um, then I realized as I was lifting, some movements have just become a lot more awkward, um, un uncomfortable, and things like that when I do a deadlift. Um, I've done them on the Smith machine. I haven't been doing them with a barbell or anything like that or with dumbbells. I just realized that when I'm done, my stomach is very tight. Um, sometimes it gets super tight and that's a Braxton Hicks contraction. And so I've just kind of slowed those down. I did them with dumbbells today and decided just to do pulses instead of going all the way down and back up um, kind of motion and which worked a lot better for me. So there's just things that I'm having to adjust to as um, I get further and further along in this pregnancy. Next, <laughs> I have realized that my emotions have like, I'm feeling like so much better, like just mentally and everything, which I'll get into later. But my emotions have just like, I feel like I could cry on a drop of a dime. Um, I know that I go through waves of this and I've talked about it before during one of my weeks, but it's definitely back. And I just feel, <laughs> I don't know, like I could just cry like over saying I love her so much much and like I can't wait to meet her like it's unreal because for a while I was like why don't I feel like a connection like why don't I feel like you know this or that and I'm sure like a lot of mothers go through that and especially your first pregnancy or maybe it's different for each pregnancy I'm not sure yet but I've officially felt that connection and I just love her so much and I'm just so excited and I don't know if it's because of like baby registry things like arriving here and stuff like that. I'm just beyond the moon and like I, it just makes me emotional. Like it really, really does. Like I can almost cry now but we're gonna stop talking about it so I don't. I have noticed my hair, my natural hair because these are extensions, um, my natural hair, but my natural hair guys is like pretty darn long. It's like to write here it's grown a lot and it's becoming thicker and my nails are growing way fast like I need feels like a lot faster but I'm just not worrying about it I go like once a month because who likes to get their nails done not me I realized actually the past few days if I roll over too quickly in my sleep or if I stretch a certain way in the middle of the night or anything like that 
um, I could get some round ligament pain going on. I have realized a little bit. I have not had that before, but things are just growing. Things are becoming bigger. Kind of just feels like a knife, like a little bit, but not like not like super bad. I don't want to be dramatic. I don't know if it's like a knife. It, it just it feels like something stretching and pulling. I guess you could say. On to this week's doctor's appointment. So she needed to see me two weeks ago for this last doctor's appointment because of uh, my blood pressure just being like right on the rim of it and so then I went in blood pressure was higher again and it was just so hard for me mentally to wrap my head around it because I feel a hundred percent fine I'm not swelling I'm working out I'm like everything you know what I mean I I feel fine and with that being said of feeling fine I just felt like lost like why why is this happening during the doctor's appointment she told me that I only gained 19 pounds so that is a positive I have not looking been looking at the scale as you guys know so I really generally had no idea um, what I've been gaining or anything like that and everybody is different like seriously do not like go off of that number there's some people that gain less than me some people like gain more than me it's just the way your body works in the end it doesn't matter as long as you're taking care of yourself and this baby inside of you the best you possibly can you know you're gonna worry about it afterwards <laughs> just enjoy the process but that was a positive but along with this appointment with my blood pressure being right on the rim again I'm not like super super high or anything I'm very blessed to have a doctor who or midwife that wants to just be cautious of things and is paying attention to me which I really honestly do appreciate because I'd rather have somebody pay attention to me than not pay attention at all with that being said I have to do another pee test and another blood work test um, my gestational diabetes test came back perfect it was great the pee test she said came back really good there was only like a smidgen slight 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 thing of protein in my pee so it's nothing that she was really concerned about but she wants to make sure that it's not continuing to grow. So after that appointment, I, you know, called my husband because it's the first one he actually didn't go to and just let him know. And I just told him like, she's not really like, you know, she's not worried. And he's like, okay, well, she's not worried. Don't be worried about it. You know? And it's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like <laughs> I'm worried, you know? And then I called my mom afterwards and sometimes moms just know what to say and just came to realization this week and I'm feeling so 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 much better but I'm a huge believer in how do I word this I'm a huge believer in what you are creating mentally is what you are going to attract so every day when I'm well not every day every two three four weeks when I'm driving to that appointment I'm constantly thinking about how please not be a high blood pressure, please not be a high blood pressure. And I, it's stressing me out, it's worrying me. I'm not even enjoying go to, going to these appointments. And my mom was like, I enjoyed going to all those appointments. Like, why aren't you enjoying them? You know what I mean? And I just realized, I'm like, wow, like I'm not even enjoying like hearing this child's heartbeat or like anything like that. Cause I'm so over consumed with my blood pressure worrying about what could possibly happen all the time and making sure she's okay, making sure she's moving and all these kinds of things. And it's like, I'm creating this myself. This could be a lot worse, trust me. So I'm blessed with what I have, but I'm creating these things to happen right in front of my eyes. I have just realized that I am so healthy and I am so stinking blessed. And no matter what happens, I'm gonna be okay and this little girl's gonna be okay and I just was I'm done worrying I'm done constantly thinking about what could happen I need to just live life and just be happy and enjoy going to these appointments and I'm constantly telling myself like you know like you're so blessed you're you're beautiful you're perfect God made you this way you know what I mean for a reason and you are going to be just fine throughout this process and she is so healthy she's kicking and moving so I'm constantly telling myself these positive affirmations so then when that appointment comes I'm there and I'm happy and I'm so looking forward to hearing her heartbeat 
instead of dwelling on the fact that I have to go do another blood test and I have to do another pee test next Sunday. Like, who cares? It's going to come back amazing. And the next appointment is going to be amazing. And then the next day I get to leave to my baby shower. Like, what more could I ask for? For such a healthy baby and to have God on my side. I'm strong enough to take it on and I have God by my side and I have an amazing support system by my side. And I just feel so healthy, I feel so happy. And I'm just going to enjoy these last like 11-ish weeks of pregnancy and pray that she comes at 40 weeks and not later. I'm just so thankful to have this baby girl inside of me and we'll soon get to meet her one day. And I just, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Okay, so now after all that jumble bumble we had going on there, but we're just gonna go ahead and get right into what week 28 has, um, what has been going on inside of me and with this little, little cute nugget. At week 28, baby is the size of an eggplant. It says that baby's starting to develop more fat so that once the wrinkly skin um, will start to get smoother. And it says baby's lungs are mature enough that if born, he or she would probably survive. So why worry? No matter what, this baby girl's gonna survive. She's gonna be a-okay. She is weighing, or he or she, depending on what you're having, around this time can be weighing about 1.5 to 2.5 pounds and measures about 13.6 to 14.8 inches. So we are officially in the third trimester. I went through my first week of the third trimester. It just talks about how you could start getting lack of sleep. I am tossing and churning a lot more, to say the least. It just says that if you find yourself up in the middle of the night, don't go like do things that are like busy and like vacuum the house or clean things. Like try to like read and like soothe yourself kind of back to sleep, drink some tea, like all those kinds of things. So if you are having trouble with that, um, then do something like that or some soothing music or anything of that nature. He or she is prepping for breathing and your breasts are, have already have um, colostrum, colostrum, which is what baby will eat in the first few days. And I know that's like the most important milk. It's like kind of like yellowish um, that your baby will drink. So my boobs, they're just large, okay? They're large, that's all. And it just says you can start feeling Braxton Hicks contractions a lot more and you can start feeling those around 20 weeks. And I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely feeling them a lot more. It's just my stomach gets tight is what happens. So the baby has all those finishing touches, hair, lashes that make a baby so cute and have a few more weeks to continue developing. And it says now baby, um, he or she can open her eyes like that's crazy, but it's still like just a little bit foggy, a little bit blurry. Baby is gaining about 0.5 pounds a week until birth. He or she may not have as much room in the womb, room in the womb to move. It's getting crowded in there. Like she is moving so much more. Like yesterday, I swear she was like hyper and just was moving like all the time, which I absolutely loved. It says with your room getting with your womb getting crowded, baby is likely beginning to turn head down to get ready to make his or her debut in the outside world soon. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. I know I'm gonna make a video soon about kind of like my labor plan and how I feel about labor. Um, it says not only can your breasts go up one to two cup sizes during pregnancy, increased blood flow makes the veins look more prominent. Like I told you, they're veiny. And it says up to a third of pregnant women experience restless leg syndrome, which is the cause of uncontrol uncontrollable urge to move your legs at night. Um, some doctors may say that it's triggered by a folic acid or iron deficiency. I feel like I kind of had that in the beginning of pregnancy. I haven't had it now at all, but I felt like I could not stop moving my legs, but I, that has not come back for me. And it says that you may not feel until the third, tri the third trimester, but Braxton Hicks contractions, those irregular and unpredictable contractions have been happening since week six. It's your body's way of preparing for labor. So those happen for a while, so don't be alarmed if your stomach starts to get tight. Now guys, it's time to measure this belly. Let's see if we grew again. I feel like my stomach just exploded. So let's see if it did. So week 28, I am 40 inches around. I grew another half an inch, because I'm pretty sure I was 39 and a half inches last week. So 
40 inches it is for week 28. All right, guys, well, that is going to go ahead and wrap up week 28 pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so stinking much. I hope that you guys are having a great week. And on your way out, make sure that you guys subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to follow my social media because I do update a lot on there about mentally of how I'm feeling a pregnancy and just all those sorts of things. So I hope that you guys are having a great week and I will see you guys on Thursday for another video. Cannot wait. All right, guys, I will catch you later. Bye, guys.